so yeah, I just want to know um, how, how actually did this move come about? Obviously, we know he, he won promotion and he, he, people were impressed. Uh, but how did he get to ABBA? Uh, was it your work? Was it his work? Yeah, always my work. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely always his work. Yeah. I mean, I think it's very difficult to promote a coach that is not successful. And mm-hmm. um, if you remember, he was he went to um, UAE Al-Wakta. at Alakda. And it did not work there. He was just there then for four months. Uh, he was fired after he won. Mm. Um, and really, the whole issue is um, when you appoint people like Coach Pizzo, you need to know that they do not want to be told how to do their work. So I think that in terms of how the club wanted to manage and how it was done did not really work. And yes, we came home and they were very clear, the whole team, to say to me, they came back in November, that they do not want to work in December because they have not had family time or Christmas with their families, and but in January they want to be out. And even now, because we know in, in ABBA they only have four months, I have already started talking to other teams, which I cannot tell you now, uh, to just start building you know, opportunities if ABBA does not work. So Abba came, yes. Uh, it's quite funny when this thing want to happen. You find it. I think you might have been one of the people who said, "Hey, we see that coach is going to Abba, and you're thinking was Abba." Yeah. And then you get fifty thousand calls from people who are chancers until the company calls you, or I find the, the, the number of the relevant officials mm. in the team. And then we negotiated. They wanted to make it an eighteen months contract. Really? Yes. Um, but um, you know, for us, it was just that for my side in the negotiation, we're not happy with the next year's uh, amount. Okay. Understanding what the market is about. So we then agreed that we'll help them for the next four months and if there is interest, coach promotes them and we agree on the negotiations of the second part. Yes. If we don't agree, then he moves on to other opportunities. So there is a, so there is a chance of him staying there if Mutually, if, if, if mutually we agree, mm. yes, there is an opportunity left that door open. Mm. There's also an opportunity of him going to another club. But mm. coach was very clear that he wants to be with the big boys in Saudi. Um, I mean, I think we all know that the Saudi league has now grown. It's got big, big uh, players that they've brought in. I saw the last uh, match. On, yeah, not the, not the one that they won a week ago. Somebody in the articles wrote. Um, Coach Pizzo's team of whatever million dollars was playing against a team of whatever billion dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite excited to, to be in that space. Uh, mm. Very difficult team, I think very brave of them to take a team that is in the relegation zone uh, with the intention of trying to promote it. It's obviously not been easy because they've not been able to buy more players they wanted. They are working yeah. with who they have. Yeah. Uh, but I think the, the whole feedback has been quite good that the team tactically has changed in the way it's right I think lastly for you as an agent or a representative, yeah. uh, how challenging is it to always get all the lieutenants in into the system with mm-hmm. coach? It's been uh, difficult? The, the, te- the technical team? No, it's not def- difficult. You know, I think the guys are all aligned. Okay. Where, where and how they want to. Even with the clubs? Sorry? Even with the clubs when you say, you know, he's coming with four or five no, people? Yeah, the clubs. Yeah. You know, I think it's only here at home that this thing is not normal. Oh. Everywhere else it's very normal. Mm. But the coach, in fact, when we went to UAE, we, didn't, we never had a goalkeeper coach. So they asked us yeah. to even bring a goalkeeper okay. coach. And then we took a coach that coach was working with in Jeddah. In Alaska. Mm. Yes, yeah, Jeddah. Mm. Uh, so they're happy with him. He is with them now. Okay. So the whole thing of a coach coming with this technical team is very normal. It's very normal. Um, Mamzo, you, earlier you, you spoke of the fact that you are talking to other teams yes. right now, um, yes. uh, which you don't want to mention, yes. which is fair. Yes. Um, however, is there any local team uh, local, 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 no. No, no, local, no. I will tell you definitely the next move that the coach would like to do or the coaches, the whole technical team is a national team. So we are looking at those options for national teams because that's the mandate that they've given me. But obviously if there is a project, even local, that comes, we will consider it. I think for us it's always about agreeing on two key principles. Coach comes with his team 
Two, the team can't just buy players without consulting with the technical team. Uh, and I mean, if that is the agreement, then it's fine. Thank you.